Hey guys, I'm Ben and welcome back to my Let's Rebuild The Sims 4 project. Last time, we toured the Pancake's house and looked at like all their outfits and stuff and whatever. And today, I have a story to tell you. So, when I started to rebuild the BFF household, I looked up what sort of people they were and then I realized they're from My Sims Kingdom. I had no idea they were from My Sims Kingdom, a game that I played as a kid and I loved. And oh my gosh. Okay, so here are our four Sims. I added another one, but here is their bio. Liberty, Travis, Summer, and Chaz have lived together ever since high school. How did these unlikely friends form such a tight bond? And more importantly, will their crushes on each other bring them together or tear them apart? So, I added Chaz McFreely because it didn't feel right without him because I was like, in My Sims Kingdom, we see Liberty, Travis, and, and Summer or live with Chaz it, at the Royal Academy. And, like, it just doesn't feel right without the fourth member who is, How do you? You're Bebe. Who is also pretty attractive. <laughs> I mean, he's really cute. I mean, look at him. He has, like, goatee and everything. He's, like, like he's, like, like that sort of, like, extreme bad boy character. I, I like him a lot. So, we have Travis Scott over here. He's, like, I hear his outfits and stuff, you know? Mm. And it's, like, how did I... I'm surprised I didn't see it, but I didn't look into them, so I didn't wouldn't know, you know? But, yeah, they're from My Sims Kingdom. And now, the most important thing is that Liberty Lee was robbed. She was whitewashed. She had her appearance taken away from her. Like, and whenever I see people like rebuild and make over The Sims, like Liberty Lee looks completely different. But like, this is what she's supposed to look like. Like, she, I gave her the freckles. I gave her the buck teeth. And I gave her the braids. Well, like, she, was, she technically has two braids, but like, she's older here, so it's like you know. And I honestly kind of want her to have wear the eyeball ring. I know all the Sims Let's Players hate the eyeball ring. And it's like, yeah, that makes sense. But it's like, like, and I don't give it to her in the gallery, but like, I want to give her the eyeball ring just because my mom. No, it would be fitting, you know, I feel like she would wear it. But whatever, it's fine. But yeah, like, she was robbed. She was whitewashed. You know, even in like My Sims Kingdom and later on, like, she was robbed. So here we have some of her outfits and stuff, you know. I think it's cool. I think you can get to see some of her like more quirky sides and stuff. You know, I, I don't know. I just really like her character. I'm proud of what she looks like. And whenever I edit The Sims, I don't change them. Like I don't change their faces. I change like their outfits and makeup and hair. But like their faces, I leave alone because it's like you know, there's this. It's like like I don't really want to like focus on changing them completely like they still need to be at least kind of recognizable you know but yeah here we have summer who also looks, looks so, like they all look very different from the my sims but that's just because the different art style but you know but i just didn't recognize them they have chaz you know the beautiful Ooh. guy that I, I like a lot he's so cute he's always wearing sunglasses too mm -hmm. but yeah that's it for our household. So now we get to finally take a tour of what I built for them. So if you can, if you saw the lot right away, you will notice something pretty big. So well, when I built the house, I sort of based it off of the Royal Academy's dorms that they live in in My Sims Kingdom. And I was just like focusing on the basic layout and stuff and like using that as sort of a basis to go from there. After that, I focused on like their hobbies, like what their interests were and stuff like that. And after that, I like play test them on all that. Like, you know, just, you know, what I do with most every family, you know? And as with every single build, you can download it. Like it's all base game stuff. It's all free stuff too. So everything in this house is like all free stuff, all like all from like free stuff or like, like just the base game. 
But yeah, I, if you'll notice, you'll see this giant rocket here that I had Chaz build because it just makes sense, you know, since it's so extreme and since I wanted to use it somewhere. I do plan on using it in the park, but I feel like it made sense here. Like I wanted this to be more bright and colorful than the other ones due to the fact that they're from my sims. So it makes sense, you know. Uh, so, oh, I want to move forward. Just let me move forward. Okay. So here we start out in this, like, like front and of the house area with all the flowers and stuff. It's very blue, you know. Oh, and we have this front deck where we have this chest set. That's mainly for Liberty because she's in the astronaut career. This is actually really good for her too because of the rocket ship. And when we enter, we see this sort of like living room area uh, where we see Liberty and Chess sitting and watching TV. You know, I thought it'd be nice to have that there. We have a gaming system and stuff. We have like this crest here. I feel like it would be sort of like IKEA like, yeah, reference to My Sims Kingdom a, a bit. Like, I, I don't know, it's kind of a stretch. But we have these pictures of them and like the outerwear have them in the formal wear too i think this is really cute like and liberty is like really like look like rocking that picture that's good and then i put all these plants here because it's like like liberty is very nature oriented too so i thought it'd be a good idea to put a bunch of plants here so as we go on we see some of like worked out equipment for some of the sims and see their bedrooms right here or their portrait which is the only custom content in this build and this this custom and that is actually from like a pack like you get when you like download the sims mobile or something but i i just use custom content because that's not available anymore so we also have this zen like bonsai tree like some bar areas because i i think i recall that summer holiday wanted to be a bartender like the thing is in my sim she doesn't like food but she does like entertaining i feel like I also gave them this game table, you know, it makes sense for them to like play card games together and stuff. And of course we have our, our kitchen here and Lindsay from My Sims Kingdom. We have DJ Candy and Buddy and Chef Gino. I love like this My Sims character. It's so nostalgic for me. Of course I gave them a shelf. It is so annoying when I have to hear all these sound effects. Do I, should I turn them off? I probably should, but it's fine. Whatever. Maybe next time, but you know. Yeah, we have all this stuff here. We have of like this. It's like a nice blue, blue kitchen. Like kind and a simple, you know, but it's it works. It's good. So let's see. We have our backyard here with some gardening supplies, barbecue table, and the hot tub. No one likes this hot tub just because of the fact that it was released on the 20th anniversary. I mean, other than that, it's like a good hot tub because it was released in base game. Like, that's the only reason I like, that's the main reason I like it is because it's in base game and I can use it very well for like back outdoor stuff. I gave them like a dance floor here too. Like, I don't have like get together or anything. It's base game, so they just have like a wooden floor. They have some planters here for Liberty. They have a pool, which I thought would be nice. Like, we have four deck chairs for them. And I put a bunch of plants over and stuff, and you know, it makes sense. And I will admit, I'm not really like experienced with like landscaping and stuff. It's just like I usually try to just fill it up, you know, that's my main goal here. So, one thing I feel like is that, like, I, I feel like they could all be like in a poly relationship or something, you know, like I feel like they'd all be like cute together rather than like fighting for like, like one like pairing or something. I don't know. Uh, so, we have. Oh, I have Travis's bed here, we have, ah, we have Chaz Travis. here, they're just hanging out. Oh, oh, and when I was like sort of like playtesting everything and make, adding all the pictures here, or I sort of like, like wanted to add romance between everyone, so that's how it works out. And then the most romance I had was between Chaz and Travis. Like, it's, it's crazy, but you know, I mean, just look at him, he's beautiful. <laughs> that's fine. I also gave them this nice bathroom with like four robes because, you know, four sims. Like this is all the one bathroom they share and they're definitely going to fight over this. I also use a lot of the, like the Chaz McFeeling stuff just because it's like the name's similar so it makes sense. You know, I know they're obviously different sims but they're like, they're plays off the same name so whatever. We have Summer and Summer and Liberty's room right here. Now we have this picture there for Liberty. We have some front pictures of like them hanging out with their friends and all that I mean, it's all just with each other but you know oh i want to like 
make it feel like it belonged to them and that they lived in it. And so I just made sure to add pictures and stuff, you know. And this is all like stuff I got from like her career as I like leveled her up. And that's pretty cool. I like that. Like I like the sculpture on the table. I think that's good. I hope that once we get once I get like the my first pet stuff, we're definitely going to like get a hedgehog or something. But that's not until like much later after I finish rebuilding base game and all that. But you know, I just thought like it's cool to have all this here. I think it's really pretty and I, I enjoy it. But yeah, I just think it's pretty nice to have this house here just because of the fact that it's like like this sort of place that you could throw parties in and like have everyone hang out and enjoy themselves. And I think it's cool. I think it's really nice. Oh, dope. So yeah, you can all, you can download it from like the gallery in The Sims 4 or like you don't have to worry about custom content. You can download the a portrait mod if you want it, but... Other than that, you don't really need to worry about stuff like custom content. It should be fine. Just double check the custom content box. I added this wood or like this woodworking table too for like some hobbies and stuff. But yeah, I just think it's really nice to have this building here, so I could use it for like parties and stuff that they may throw. And it's cool. I like it. I think it's very well made for to meet the Sims' needs, and that's really my highest priority. So yeah, uh, once I get a good angle here, I think that will be it for this build. Um, let's see, we should probably... Mm, right. Let's angle it to this way. And get a nice, good shot. So yeah, um, um, we made this far, uh, thanks for watching. Next time we are going to be taking a look at the uh, Spencer Kim Lewis family. And I'm very excited for that. They're the last pre-made family in Willow Creek. So that'll be interesting. So thanks for watching this video and see you next time.